So in one of my recent videos, I've received a comment asking me to make beats in the style of Fredo's new album. And although I have covered this in one of my previous videos, my approach to making these kind of beats has changed a little bit. So I thought I might as well give it another go. So in today's one, I'm going to be making a couple of beats in the style of Fredo's new album, Unfinished Business. All right, so we're in FL Studio, and for the start of production, I like to start off with some sort of repeating element. And obviously the kit that's been carrying me in most of my recent beats has been Synth Palace. And this kit and its expansions have these really cool phrases folders, where there's a bunch of looping phrases, melody builders, stuff like that. So that's mainly what I'm gonna be using to start this one off. And once again, if you're interested in using any of the sounds in this video on your own production, there will be an affiliate link in the description. And once again, thank you to Prod by Jack for providing the samples. So, so I'm gonna go into the Synth Palace kit and look in the phrases folder, and I'm just gonna pick one of these and see what I can find. That is definitely usable, okay. Definitely need some effects, so I'm gonna add those real quick. It sounds pretty cool, but I want some sort of like counter melody, so I'm gonna look for something else. That could work. I'm like 30 seconds into the video and Synth Palace is already carrying me, so that definitely needs some effects too, so I'm gonna do that now. Alright, I'm gonna use some forbidden technology here. Now one of the recent changes I've made to making these kind of beats is how I program my counter melodies. And I've been using this pretty popular VST called Portal, and until recently I really didn't use this plugin because a lot of the default presets are very situational. But once again, Prod Valm's come in clutch and he sent me all three volumes of his Inception Portal Banks, and for me this is kind of a compulsory addition to this VST. I can't really use Portal without them, so big thank you to Prod Valm for making this style of production a lot easier, and I'm sure I'll probably be using it in future videos as well. So I'm gonna look for this random preset to turn this texture into some sort of like mangled R or something. You can hear the difference though, it sounds like a completely different sound. And for the bass line, I think I'm gonna go for my favorite one shot in the Synth Palace kit. Most of the time some sort of Reese bass or Moog bass line is used in these beats, but this is a pretty nice alternative, so. I'm more than happy with that, so I'm going to start a new pattern and lay down some drums.
All right, the drums are basically done, but I feel like the beat's missing some sort of vocal element. So I'm gonna look for something like that now. I think that's sounding pretty good so far. The whole thing definitely needs a mix down. Like I can tell the vocal samples are clashing with each other. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly mix all the elements and then arrange the beat and see what it sounds like. more changes that I added during the mix. What I've been doing recently when making these beats is adding two bass lines. I'm um, just adding some variety because these beats are very repetitive so they can get boring really quickly. Yeah, the second bass that I added is one of my favorites from Splice with the first one being the Juno 106 from Synth Palace. I might add an acapella to this one. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see. Consistency is key, but it's hard to stay consistent when you're in the mixer. Consistently a G, I'm still dishing out them keys. So I'm sorry if you're missing me on beats. Wanna know why I'm missing? Listen to me, please. I walk around town with enough jewels to change a nigga's life. So I gotta keep a pack that will take a nigga's life. And all them races on my back, police chases from a racist in the night. Now I'm with my niggas racing in the back. All I ever done was chat, then I changed it to the Mac. But this beef will never change, that shit's engraved into my life. I lost some niggas that I love, their names engraved into my eyes. But wait, cause some niggas. This beat was really simple to make, very repeatable. I think you can create a lot of variation with vocal samples and vocal chops, stuff like that. I'm not completely sold on like the baseline sound selection and certain parts of the vocal chops, so I'll probably change those before I put them up in beat stars or something. In regards to the acapella, I don't think it fits the beat too well, mainly because of very high BPMs, the flows and cadences that an artist might use are tailored very closely to the instrumental that they recorded over, and that doesn't really carry over when you just swap the instrumental, if that makes sense. I think in regards to percussion and sound design and arrangement, I've got the style pretty close so i'm happy with that once again big thank you to prod by jack for providing the sounds for today's beat once again if you're interested in using any of the sounds in your own production there will be an affiliate link in the description at the time of recording all of the constituent elements for the synth palace collection are available individually so i highly suggest you go check that out if you're interested and of course big thank you to prod Viom for sending me the inception portal banks i'll definitely be using that for future videos because it makes my life so easy and there'll be a code and link in the description so you can check that out as well and hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration this video helped you in some way and if you enjoyed the video of course feel free to like and subscribe let's just listen to the beat and see what i could do better for next time